Um, and then the rest is history. Oh, wow. Yeah. That was it, yeah. Yeah. That's nice. That's nice. So during, so during your, your dating period, because I, I know you're both Christians, you know, and you know, in our church, once you date someone, you have to marry them after six months or three months, you know, did you, did you have any challenges? Because I, how long have you dated? How long did you date before you actually got married? We dated for eight years, right? Eight yes. years before we got married. Before you put a ring on it. Yes. Yeah, wow. in his defense though because we met when we were very young um, I had just turned 18 um, okay so uh, we were baby we were baby mm -hmm. so you didn't know what you wanted by then yeah yeah it, it, it was the right, right time I was a bit young yeah, yeah. if I did any younger it would have been yeah it would have been a disaster right? so I, I'm happy with the with the way I waited and not rushed into anything yeah yeah I, yeah. I, I had to get to a certain place in my life by the way I was ready because I, I didn't want to jump into something and, you know, get myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Imagine, mm -hmm. you know, uh, living with someone uh, in this quarantine, you know, for seven weeks, locked in the house. And, yeah. Yeah. So I'm, yeah. I'm happy with the way things went, taking time and all that stuff. Yeah. So in those eight years, when did you finally decide that this is my wife? I, 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 so the thing is, right, I, I think I always knew, uh, I was obviously okay. nervous. As, as a young person, you, you're quite nervous, like, you, you know, as a young man, you're, you're nervous, to, or, I don't know, I, I was probably scared of commitment, but I'll be honest with you. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Most men are scared of commitment, it's not you alone. I was, but I, I, I think I knew I met a good person, and yeah. some I, I would be happy to have a family with and, you know, have a family with and live the rest of my life with. So That's right. I had That's that right. in my mind, but I was still obviously you're battling, being nervous, being, you know, uh, yeah, I, I just wasn't ready at the time, to be honest. With you. Mm -hmm. Neither was I, actually. Um, I thought I was. At around 20, I 21, I was, I was like, I'm yeah. so ready, you know, I'm, I'm good to go. But actually, again, in hindsight, no. I was um, You're not ready. Yeah. But did you know that he was the one? I did. Um I didn't it wasn't love at first sight for me. Okay. But I did pretty pretty early on in our relationship I would say I knew that yeah, this guy he gets me. Um yeah. So because he gets me, he's the one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. You were friends, basically. You understood each other. Yeah. Yes, yeah. We were friends. And I think that's that's probably the biggest key in our relationship, the fact that he, he's my best friend. I've heard so many people say that I'm just like, yeah, whatever. But actually, it's it's exactly that. If you marry your best friend, you're good to go. Yeah. So how, how long do I need to know that this person is my best friend? Do I have to date this guy for eight years or five years? or? <laughs> you know, that one is a personal judgment that people would have to take. I, I can't stay on that one. But um, yeah, just being friends is yeah and when did you when when you then decided that you wanted to get married when did you sort of like start talking about the future about the family about what you can tolerate and what you can't tolerate like toler uh, i can't speak today well, when did you start to have those conversations like the serious conversation but you know what we are now moving forward together we are starting to plan our future together this is how our future is going to be um mm. or did you ever have those conversations or you just thought let's get married we'll just stumble on them and go we did used to have those conversations um mm -hmm. like say would you say we uh i i think it was it, it was much later so uh mm -hmm. we met when i was 20 she was 18, 18 yeah so yeah I, I think at that point we, we thought you know yeah we're ready we can uh, we can do this we can definitely do but yeah, no, nah, we, we definitely weren't at that point. But I think mm -hmm. with, with time, we, we 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 went through ups and downs. Yeah. And then, for me, at some point, I just came to the place where I was just like, no, no, I think we've been through so much. Mm -hmm. Literally, I think if, we can, if we've managed to go through all these things and come out on the other side and be okay, then I think we can go through 
most things, so we'll be good after that. Mm. That's nice. And at least you known each other for eight years. You knew what pieces are off. You know, you knew what he doesn't like. You know, you just knew how to communicate with each other. So starting over again with someone else would have just have been something else. Yeah, it, it is true. It is yeah. true. Um, so yeah, it, it is true. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I always wonder um, if we had gotten married before we did. I I don't know if if we would have. If we would have made it Stuck together, yeah. People back then, we our mindsets were different, and like we said, we just we weren't ready, and we didn't yeah. have that understanding of what marriage actually is. Yeah. yeah. So we just we were definitely not ready. I like the fact that you waited. God's God's time, based yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like the fact that you waited, and you knew that now we are ready. Now we're ready to do this because it's a lifetime thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. So how did you propose? Because obviously we 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 saw the proposal that Kevin organized. It was amazing. How did you get him to arrange that? How did you do it? I had no idea. <laughs> I had no clue it was even happening. I was. We just flew to Zimbabwe. <laughs> so the Zim trip was happening anyway. Um, we okay. hadn't been home. We, as in me, um, and my family had not been home in over ten years. I think it had been yeah. about ten years. So mm -hmm. it, we had been planning just to go and see family, to go and see my go go. She was still alive, my my dad's mom. Um, so it was literally just a trip to go go because we hadn't been home for so long. Um, mm -hmm. I remember him saying, "Oh, can I come? Um, I think it would be really cool to meet your family, um, and you know, for you to meet mine because we know eventually we're gonna get married. So why not, right? Yeah. Like you know what? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Cool. So we went. We went to them. Um, it was a complete surprise, a complete and total surprise. That was nice. I had no idea. That was nice. It's a girl's dream just to be surprised with a very, very romantic proposal. Shell, yes. how did you do that? Um, so, um, I, 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 I come to that point where I knew, like, obviously, uh, we want to get married. We want to, you know, take things to the next level. Um, I was just racking my brain trying to figure out uh, yeah. what I should do. Like, how can I do it? Um, you know, I just wanted to make it special. Um, so I I thought, you know, when she mentioned the Zim trip, I thought, ah, okay, she hasn't been to Zim for, what, 13 years or something? Wow, so okay. If I, if I can, you know, take that special moment for her and try and mm -hmm. uh, make it even more special, then why not? And it's different as well because I... We're here in the UK, so we could have just done everything here. Okay, mm -hmm. so, uh, go to London, find a nice place, and do it properly. But I, I thought, yeah, let me do something a little bit different. So mm -hmm. I started uh, speaking to Kevin. So I, I've known Kevin for years, like before you mm -hmm. doing weddings. Like mm -hmm. uh, we, we, uh, yeah, we just knew each other, um, and we used to just talk. We used to just talk. Mm -hmm. So um, I think in conversations. He used to always say, you know, um, but yeah, uh, especially with the wedding, he used to say, oh, I'm going to come to England and I'm going to do your wedding. So yeah. That, that really. And then when the whole Zim thing came up, I thought, ah, he's a good person to work with in Zim. Um, yeah. So spoke to him. Uh, first time I spoke to him, I had to know what I wanted to do. And then eventually I, I was, yeah, I, I went on this website. I was looking at this place and I saw a place and I thought, ah, that's really nice and then i told mm -hmm. kevin oh, i've seen this place I, I i think you know if we do something here kevin knew exactly what i was talking about the place he yeah. knew people there he's worked with uh, the people at pumps in the lodge and all that stuff and yeah. that was it really um i i shared some ideas you know it'd be nice candlelight dinner uh, just the two of us sat in that little shed thing and that was it that was all i had to do to be honest with you and Kevin did the rest. It was beautiful. Kevin, if you're listening, it was beautiful. It was very, very nice. It was very nice. So then, after the, the proposal, uh, the engagement, then you started prepping for your order. Mm -hmm. Yeah? How did you find that ordeal? Uh, Aurora, Aurora. So, uh, Aurora is easy for me to accept because I had an older sister. And it's okay. Oh, money. so you had to take some money as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just had to hand over the money that I got from my sister and had it on to her family. So I, I understood how that, that worked. I, I, yeah. I that. And I was happy, you know, to, to do that. 
I, yeah, I have no problem with God and all that stuff. So, um, uh, in regards to putting together the money, there was some stuff I was doing. Um, yeah, and it all paid off and it all worked out. So, like, over the few years prior to that, I was doing some stuff. It paid out and, yeah, it worked out. So, for me, it was fairly, yeah. So, you had saved up for your order anyway? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, so you advise the guys to start saving up for order. It's not just 20 pounds, you know. You never know how much you can Unless you can make the money in like two months. But I'm, I, like, I'm, I'm a legit guy. I just work and just do a little bit of whatever I can on the side. So yeah, for me, it took me a bit of time to try and put some money together and get things rolling. Perfect. And then now coming to your wedding. I was at your wedding. I did your deco, so I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was beautiful, of course. How did you, did you save some money together for the wedding or, uh, or just, did you just leave it to share all the it's, it's you who's marrying me and this is the type of wedding that I want. I thought, I thought I I um, no, we, we did it together. Uh, yeah. There was no, you know, this one is for you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I my dreams, obviously that's kind yeah. of business and vice versa, but besides yeah. everything together. Um, yeah. we saved together. Uh, we had an account where we would put um, an agreed amount every month. Um, oh, that's good. We had a budget. That's good. Uh, we went over the budget, but we, we had a budget. Um, and so we, we had an agreed amount that we would save every month. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, and we just put it into the account. Um, and that's how we did it. So it's good to save, to start saving up together and have, if you can, open an account together, put that, the, some money towards it together because it's now your celebration together bring yeah, you guys in the families. planning a wedding is is almost practice on a yeah. financial side of what life being married will be like yeah, yeah because yeah. even though you're two separate people with two separate jobs two separate pots of money you have to do things together once you get married Definitely. whether that means you use a joint account whether it means you you just sit and agree which, okay these are our bills this is what we're doing our money this is how much we're saving so I feel like the wedding was a good tester for us. Yeah. First of all, how what's our mindset in, in terms of money? Our mindsets were completely different. Wow. Um, so how did you manage that? I think we got there in the end. For me, it was a challenge, if I'm honest. Okay. I think I was a bit of an EP in the beginning when it came <laughs> to saving money. I like to have money in my account. I like to, you know, I like to buy things. I like shoes and bags yeah. and things. So I think it took a while for me to get my head in the game. Um, yeah. I think also him being an accountant, it was just like, oh, here's a spreadsheet. Ga, 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 ga. For me, it took, it took a while, but eventually once I understood, you know, sacrifice. What it was for, yeah. Sacrifice. Yeah. We were, we were and discipline. And, and discipline. I had to tell myself, no, I don't need another pair of yours. I've got a wedding that I'm planning for. I don't need another yeah. pair. I've got a wedding that I'm planning for. Um, yeah. Once, once I changed my mindset towards money, then we were then we were on the same page, and you could see things moving a lot faster. Definitely, um, I will because Tafis still needed paying, you know. Yeah. <laughs> um, and our goal was to to have a debt free wedding. Which okay, was, well that's good. I had a budget in the beginning because I was like, why? There's credit card. There's places. Yeah. Why stress about money? Let's just go to the bank and get it. But he was like, yeah. no, you know, no, that's not what we're doing. We're doing it ourselves. And so in the end, we did, you know, thank God we, we managed to have our wedding debt free. Um, yeah. Everything was, was paid in cash. And I, well, I'm, I'm well, going to do that because I that's good. Wasn't, that wasn't my goal. That wasn't my plan. But now in hindsight, after the wedding, when you then realize, okay, there's life after the wedding. I'm and there is. I'm grateful yeah, yeah, yeah. we don't, you know, we didn't have to take all our gifts and start paying off credit cards. Because that was my thinking. Just go to my money. Mm -hmm. after the wedding. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I just realized that there's life after the wedding. So I, I have Price to, to be. Did you hear I, that? There's life after wedding. I, very <laughs> good. I have to give a certain credit for that. So basically when you started, the way I was brought up, right? is different to how she was. Completely. The way I spend money is different to how she spends money. Mm -hmm. I'll be honest with you, I'm very good with money, but I knew the right way of doing things. Not even because I'm an accountant, but because I think my mom, my mom is very, she, she from a young age, taught me your responsibilities are first. You can't okay. be buying trainers and doing whatever. 
you want, but then you know you you've got other responsibilities. So your rent, mm -hmm. and all that stuff. First of all, mm -hmm. do anything else. So I had that mentality, and I've I, I used to be in a lot of weddings. <laughs> of course, <laughs> you also did a lot of weddings. <laughs> I, I saw a lot over the years. I I yeah. saw good weddings. I saw yeah. things can get tough and how money. Yeah. Can go. So my thinking at, at the start when we were planning our wedding was, which is a conversation that we had. I told the okay. let's let's do as much as we can in the early stages. So when you've got eighteen months, you can do more than half of your wedding in the before you you know at least twelve months before your wedding. That, yeah, 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 yeah. Your time, yeah. Not, yeah. Um, yeah, and she, I spoke to her because the way she was doing things was a bit different, right? But I have to give her credit. She, it's, she, it's because from the time from the time us girls get grow up, we've got this sort of like idea of a wedding that we want, you know. Right. So forgive her; she had her own wedding in her head. Yeah, so, so yeah, you, you are right. So, so the ladies, it's going to be an emotional, emotional thing. Emotional, it was completely emotional. Yeah, and then I'm out here. I'm thinking, uh, can we? <laughs> 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 I, I, obviously, like I, I'm out here, and I, I'm thinking I, a lot of the responsibility will end up falling on me. So I was yeah. just trying to batter her and make her understand my point of view, and then I like there was a balance. I like that there was a balance. Balance, and in the end, to be honest, there was nothing. Looking back, there's nothing I can say. Oh, I wish I had this at my wedding. Yeah. I wish I had done this. It yeah. went according to the way we had planned it. it there's That's good. More or less that I would have added to the day. So it was just a case of adjusting my mindset rather than compromise. Like so it wasn't really compromised. Oh, you can't have this, have this instead. It was yeah. just change your mindset towards money, change your mindset towards just the planning, which, okay, if that's the cake you want, this is how much it costs. It means yeah. you have to, you know, give a little bit more for you to be able yeah. to get the cake that you want. And so, so did, you know, when, when it came to your, to your vendors, that was going to be my next question. How did you sort of like find your vendors? How did you find them? So was it just word of mouth or Instagram or Facebook? Like how you found, you know, <laughs> so we found you tapping. <laughs> yeah. We found you because we, I, 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 um, <laughs> You know, yeah, me and Tapu go way back, right? Yeah. Tapu will be my prison, don't you believe that at some point? <laughs> <laughs> Come on! <laughs> I don't know, I just know this. Tapu is my prison of mine as well. So, yeah, I, I knew Tapu, I know the work she does. Yeah. Uh, that, that was fairly straightforward. So, certain things you'd obviously be checking with other people. You know, yeah. you, know uh, the, you want to see people's work, you want to see uh, what they've done, their prices, and all yeah. that stuff. Um, so yeah, with some people we knew, some people who could do some of the stuff, and then there's online medium of the other stuff. Online, online, some people yeah. we work with Facebook, yeah, yeah, caterers. And, some people we work with the tax, yeah. And then I, I understand you had a, um, a wedding planner, um, Kevin. How did you find having a planner? Is it something that you would advise for or against? A hundred. From your own experience, you need a wedding planner. You need yeah. to have a wedding planner. I think have if you can afford to pay for someone, then do mm -hmm. that. You can't afford to pay for someone, then find someone that you trust, whether it's your best friend, your tete, whoever that you can trust, and mm -hmm. someone who understands the vision of your day. That mm -hmm. you can basically get them to play your wedding planner and to hand over yep. to them for the day. Because I think one of the reasons why I enjoyed my wedding day so much was because I was stress free. I wasn't even thinking yes. about yeah. it. Yeah. I was literally just thinking about myself. I need to wake up yeah. and get my makeup done, eat, chill. That was literally, I had nothing else on my mind because I knew that Kevin would, would take care of everything. Yeah. He understood. What everything. you wanted. Yeah. He understood what we wanted and the order. Yeah. So we, we didn't have to think at all. Like he was yeah. just, Kevin, this is what we need. And then that was it. He, he literally just got it done. I had nothing to think or worry about. This is what I always say. You what? need a wedding planner because... I can. I will tell you from a wedding planner point of view, we do go through stress up and down. You know, <laughs> you 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 will be asking us tell that to, to, to sit down or not to to stay there for longer, and then we'll be thinking, how am I going to do that? But I have to do it because it's your day. Yeah. You concentrate on your day. So on this day, Kevin had your day. He knew your your emotions. He knew the look that you would just give him just for him to sort things out, and he would do yeah. it. 
so, I would advise for it. For me, yeah. I, not even at, uh, looking at our own wedding. So, um, so I, I do a bit of photography, photography for wedding stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. From, from you can tell if a wedding's got a planner, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. I've oh yes. Yeah. Where where people walk in, right? A, a planner will tell you all of this. They will get you to walk in correctly. In a straight line. I, I'm a photographer, flowers. right? Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. Bridesmaids will walk in swinging their flowers like this. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking, like, how am I going to make this look good in, in the image? But if yeah. you have a planner, right? There's so much to it. So you may think, ah, no, 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 more track. I'm not going to find someone who will do this for me. But it's not that straightforward. You need someone with experience who knows, mm -hmm. uh, who's been in the industry. And yeah, I just did it. I Tell them probably it will be easier for me to sell my services. in your life by yourself, and you can. But on yeah. the actual day, there's no way that you as a burden yeah. can be. Yeah. You can't. You can't. Yeah. You can't. You cannot. Yeah. You, yeah. you shouldn't have to be delegating and doing. You should just be enjoying your day. And just smiling and enjoying your guests and your day as well, because you don't want any moment to pass you by because you're thinking that table or yeah. that person will not be sitting there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. But I, I, it's another thing. I, if you have a wedding planner, right? It, especially if you trust them, if you yeah. if you know they understand your vision, you give them your vision, and you're on the same page, it helps yeah. you on the day. I will because you know someone is going to take care of that, and they'll see yeah. some things that they can that, that you don't even see. There's, there's certain things that they know that you are and not aware know, of because yeah. they do this. Yeah. 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 So find someone with, with experience who can help you, even if you can't afford a wedding plan, Just try and get someone who knows it helps. exactly what you want for your, for your wedding day. There's certain things that you don't want to compromise. You need to make sure this is done as this yeah. and this. Yeah. So yeah, sometimes I'm too young where she's not going to understand. No. She's no, she won't. Sometimes you're not going to change where you're thinking, wait, yeah, you are not here. But on the day, which I just say, you can't then go yeah. and say, David, why did you change my flowers? So I you, Tika, you yeah, no yeah, choice. Yeah, you can't start rearranging. Yeah. You need someone who can stand up for you and say, I know Tachinda said this is what she wants, and we are going to do yeah. it that way. Like Whether that. you like it or not. Yeah, yeah. 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 we had issues like that where Kevin would have to put his foot down. You know, this is what I discussed with him. Yeah. This is what we're doing. doing. Otherwise, yeah. if, we didn't, if he wasn't there, Definitely, some things would have been changed, and you would have because Tatu would come in and say, I, I've known Ashley since he was a very little boy. No, I think it's best we face this way instead of that way. But there's, you know, it's, it's, uh, you need a planner, that's the bottom. No, no definitely. definitely. And then coming on to um, something that our culture, the Zimbabwean weddings, um, have actually started doing as well um, having security and having a set number of guests come to, to weddings. How how did you deal with yours? Because I know you had a limited number of people that came through and you had security as well. And you disappointed a few people. Ooh, it was tough. I think actually the one time that me and Ashley fell out over the wedding planning period was over numbers and people. And because it was just, it became such a headache trying to keep <laughs> everyone. Yeah, yeah. We, we ended up butting heads. You know, because I'm saying, listen, yeah. I'm saying, you know, yeah. Yeah. Same, same, but certain, and I'm so, yeah, it's friction. The number thing yeah. is, the, is an issue because no, not even just me and her, even for me, even me, and yeah. my, one thing I'm happy with is being able to speak to your parents. And finally, we got to the same page, yeah, but at some point, <laughs> we're yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah, every auntie, every teacher, every it needs to be there. And because then, you, you need to understand that tete that you are saying should not come changed your diaper to hmm? uh, <laughs> and you're telling them they can't come to the wedding. You know, this is something that our culture don't understand. My mom would be inviting the bin man because he's been our bin man for the 10 years that we've lived here. How can you not know? <laughs> but these are our neighbors and we get on so well. So it's literally <laughs> like that. Thing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's only because from from parents' point of view, it's because they are so proud of us. They are proud of what you've achieved. They are proud that you're getting married. You're doing it the right way, and they just want to show off to the world. And here we are saying, "Ah, sorry, ma'am, this one cannot come." Ah, but you know, 
and it's i don't know what we can do or how we can make them understand it i don't I, I don't know i don't know how long it will take be like oh it's expensive we can't have a hundred more people they'll be like it's fine we'll pay it's not about money yeah, it's not really about money it's just we didn't want 500 people in our wedding i don't know yeah so trying to find that 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 middle ground was difficult i think that was probably yeah stressful thing for me yeah, that was yeah. True. before that it was stressed okay not stress-free but it was it was fairly enjoyable but when yeah. you came writing the list and numbers oh my goodness yeah that that, that was tough. that was it's hard. hard yeah it's hard. hard and i guess that's kind of where security came in for us as well because yeah we knew and they were tough yeah, yeah. you've got a pink band go upstairs you've got a blue one there you're thinking i want there <laughs> I heard they were very tough. Um, yes, they were tough. They were tough. But which is I, good. The key thing for us was to make sure that okay. So for example, Friendship. just trying to have one. We've been to weddings where you will find an and I've decided no, I want to sit over there, and I yes. reserved sign, and I sit myself and my family at a reserved table. So I yeah. didn't want the situation where you know, okay, no security, just let people be. And then our yeah. parents don't have any way to sit because someone decided I'm important and I want to sit at that table. Of course. You know, and yeah. you know, those are, again, those are things that I couldn't be thinking about on the day, which yeah. I'm not sitting at her chair. You yeah. know? Things like security helps to keep order. Yeah. So at least that keeps order and planners are there to just do your day. I heard my mother got you why I apologize. That was not our intention. Um but it's <laughs> not don't they understand they understand this is why we're having this chat so that we can just talk about all of it and just yeah. get people to understand why we have security at the weddings why we have planners you know it's just so important so that people can just understand and then coming just to on the day itself is there anything that you say i should have had that you look back and think i should have had this had uh to add something to add something yeah no, no I, I think we were, we were okay. Uh, we, I, I think we managed to squeeze in everything that we wanted to do. That's good. Uh, yeah. And we took our time. You know, we had almost two years planning for our wedding. So even oh, if there were some things that were, you know, expensive, yeah, but we, we took You managed to pay them all. Yeah. You know, and we knew, which, okay, we've got this amount of time and this is the amount of money that we need. So in the end, we managed to do everything what we needed to do and what, that we wanted to do. Some things didn't go according to plan in the beginning. Um, it's normal. Yeah. So much yeah, yeah. time was wasted. Yeah. We yeah. changed our minds on certain things, but again, yeah. we gave ourselves time yeah. to, to recover and, and start again. So at least give yourselves time and you can actually have everything that you want. You can actually have your dream wedding if you give yourself time, save money, and start paying your off. I mean, no pressure. You know what? I yes. was thinking of people who have weddings this year so um there's a lot of weddings like i was a few weddings i was going to shoot this year and they've all been cancelled they've, they've been moved back to 2021 and yeah, yeah, yeah. people like that you, you're fairly in a good place where you can if you were and on everything yeah you, you yeah. want you can increase all of that because you have yeah. more time to do that more so time to save, that's yeah. one way of looking at it you know definitely cancel your wedding whatever it gives you more time to add more stuff if you want to and do definitely because you have more time to put the monies together if that yeah. was a limit yeah and what what's what what what's something that you can say uh i think i wasted money on this i should have just left it that you really wanted and thought uh what was that for <laughs> I, I, I don't you see, I, 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 I it's okay I, you can talk about it now it's fine the wedding is gone <laughs> Think of anything. I wish it wasn't too extravagant, you know. It was oh. yeah, straightforward. And yeah, I, I think for me, I, I knew things that I wanted for the wedding. Like okay. I said, I've been I think it's on chat with 27 suits. That was <laughs> yeah. So I, I I think I just built up uh, ideas of what I wanted and then yeah, yeah. I don't know. I did that. I, I took a step back for the wedding and just said, it's you know, always our wedding. It's always a woman's wedding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, again, because I have a sister, for me, it was helpful because at least I had her perspective, her yeah. perspective. You know, the, the mother of the bride has her ideas, the bride herself has her ideas. And then 
I thought if I want to jump in there with my own ideas, well, no, just let them be. A, 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 a back seat and just watch how things go. So if she has things that she can get, it's all in her. Really. <laughs> yeah. No. Do you? <laughs> no, I, I feel like I, I did everything that I wanted. Had everything. That's I, good. I to check in sometimes. I'm the emotional spender. I will yeah. spend, you know, five thousand pounds on shoes because because why? Because I love them. She why yeah. I need these shoes. I, whereas he's more of a rational thinker. Which, okay, that's fine. The shoes are five thousand. Yeah fine um after the wedding day are you gonna wear them again uh you know how many how many ways are you gonna get out of these are they comfortable are they so yeah. you know sometimes with some of the vendors and before you know we would finalize things i've kind of come back yeah. what do you think am i being emotional or oh, okay okay or i like the, i like the fact that you you, you 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 knew how you were with spending and you would ask him first right just for his opinion like was like we said we did it together financially so yeah that's yeah. about me you know it yeah was, you know are we are we good can i do this can i go ahead yeah. and he yeah. never, to be honest with you he never he never said no he gave me a warning in the beginning there's there's one thing that i was like no i eat a mask and it ended up going wrong actually he <laughs> <laughs> said you're being emotional about this one but anyway okay. you know cool if that's what you yeah. want to do. so yeah. i think you know, is when i learned okay this guy is me, let me check in every so often. You need to listen. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Money also, so why not ask for his opinion on certain things? That's true. Mm -hmm. So, what was the most um, memorable moment of the day? Ah, uh, there wasn't. You had to think, guys. Me, uh, <laughs> I, I quite enjoyed my wedding morning. The morning of the wedding. Okay. Just waking up. Alarmless. I think I woke up before my alarm. I, I had slept really well the night before. And I remember just sitting there by myself in my room, just looking out the window, thinking, wow, like 18 months of planning, the day is here. Um, and you were stress-free. And I was stress-free. It was, it was a really special moment for me. And um, when I got to the end of the aisle, when I was about to walk down the aisle. Uh, oh, and also when my dad saw me in my dress for the first time. The oh. Look, Face and I'm really trying to hold myself together. Like my makeup will, will go. I need to not forget to makeup. The look on his face was just that was a memorable moment. And for you, show. Yeah, I, I was in a bit of a daze to be honest with you the whole day. But one yeah. thing I enjoyed, it, I, I really it was strange. I really enjoyed the ceremony in the morning. You you did a good job, Tati. Like Amazing. everything looked beautiful. Amazing. And it was. I, I really enjoyed the ceremony. Like there was jokes in there. There was there was, like, <laughs> there was everything there, and I I really enjoyed the ceremony. The party mm -hmm. was good, but yeah. I enjoyed Pastor Yaman. The her pastor from AFM, he was amazing. He did a great yeah, job. Yeah, he did. Like mm -hmm. it, it, it was it was a lovely atmosphere. It was nice. it, yeah, really it was a really hot Ooh. day. That was a whole day. Ooh, you know, the melting was real. I could feel so yeah. dripping. <laughs> It was oh, oh. whoever did your makeup did a very good job because we did not see any sweat on your face at all. It was hot because it was boiling hot. But yeah, and and how are you finding marriage so far? So far, so far is a is a is a good. Uh, that's yeah, that's a good way of looking at it. So far, yeah, yes. no, so far, I, I I'll be honest with you. Uh, it's 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 been lovely. I'm 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 enjoying it. I'm hey. enjoying it. Of course. <laughs> I don't like taking things like that because you can hear it. <laughs> it's a good experience. I'm I'm, I'm yeah. enjoying it. Like I'm I'm enjoying being, you know, having my own family. Like being and you've got Melissa now. Congratulations, guys. Yeah, we have a daughter. So, like, it's, it's, it's lovely. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this side of life. Yeah. Um, I this think, side of life. Okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it's a different vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. You? yeah, so far so good for me. So far so good. Um, you know, just like... Have you remained the same? Have you remained the same people that you were this side of the world? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I can only I can answer for you. <laughs> yes. 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 I've seen changes in myself. Okay, like, change for, for the better. That's good. 
for the that's good. So, yeah, that's good. So I, I, yeah, I, I, I've seen changes in myself. There's certain things that I can, you know. Queen me. No, you know, <laughs> she's been good. She's been good. She's remained the same. She hasn't surprised me yet. Uh, yeah. Yeah. She, uh, yeah. Together, that was her. <laughs> no, in, your union is blessed, guys. Honestly, and you're so beautiful together. And tell me about the the businesses that you're running already. It's not just you're just a dad and a mom. You actually run your businesses as well. So, t- tell me about yours. Yeah. So, um, my side hustle is pet beauty. I love hair. All things hair. I live in hair. I think my hair all the time. Um, of course. Yes. So I my business is big basically um mainly synthetic um i wanted to find good quality synthetic wigs that were more affordable because before i was just doing human hair wigs but i realized there was a lot of people that were interested um but could could not afford it because it it is quite expensive um so i thought let me let me try synthetic and see if i can find good quality wigs that that everyone can afford so um, my thing is synthetic wigs but i also do human hair wigs um so yeah, and what's your Instagram handle? It is Tats Boutique. Tats Boutique. Okay. Please follow her for hair. I don't need hair. I'm okay, but you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Ashley, you do photography, don't you? Yeah, I, I, I'm a photographer. I'm a videographer, and that's my side hustle. So I've got yeah. like nine to five, but then weekends and during the week as well. Sometimes you know, uh, I do wedding photography, event photography, product photography. All of that stuff. Uh, and my page is uh, A Mash Media. So actually, Mash. So A Mash Media. Media. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, share, I'll share them straight after this so that people can just see what you do and book you if they need anything and then order any hair if they want any hair after quarantine, of course, when they want to slay. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a question from Food and Gas before we. Log off. He is asking, "Are you going to celebrate your anniversary? If so, which year block? Five years or ten year block?" Me, yeah, I wanted five. Five. Uh, but I think we've agreed on twenty twenty five. Twenty twenty five. We're gonna 25. have another okay. wedding. <laughs> another okay. twenty five years. I still have my dress. Um, oh. Not anymore. But uh, I think I've seen these wedding dress shows where you can like revamp it, add material to make it bigger. That's yes, my, yes, yes. That's my plan. Yeah, I, I think 25 would be a good one because yeah, by then, yeah, you'll be, yeah, yeah. I will never, I'll, 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 I'll still be here, guys. My whole event is 25. <laughs> I'll still be here as well to plan it and decorate it. Yeah. It's still every day. So by then, I will we'll be telling people what to do. We'll be qualified to tell people what to do. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, definitely. Okay. I've got Zara here. Yeah, Zara, she's saying she's used you both for your services and she highly recommends you. Thank yeah. you very much, Memory. Um, Any last words to the brides and grooms, uh, the, the upcoming brides and grooms? Uh, I think we've only got about five minutes. Any last words? Um, Take your time. Uh, before the wedding, get to know each other. Uh, mm-hmm. Pressure. Pressure, yes, pressure comes from society and, and family mm-hmm. and everywhere mm-hmm. but at the end of the day it's about you and the person that you're spending the rest the rest of your life with mm-hmm. 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 to marry for likes or to please people or because you know my uncle likes him so i'm gonna marry him because you're, you're stuck together for yeah. forever so i would say enjoy enjoy each other get to know each other take your time to plan your dream wedding try where possible to to avoid debt um mm-hmm. After you get married, you're going to need a house, you've got bills, you're going to have children and, and all the other things. Mm-hmm. Try where you can, just live within your means, mm-hmm. uh, pre and post wedding. Mm-hmm. Uh, and just, yeah, love is in each other. Love is a beautiful thing. With God in the middle, nothing is impossible. Uh, yeah. Definitely. I'd say see god ask god to lead you guide you in everything that you do yeah. and another mm-hmm. thing uh be honest with yourself like be mm-hmm. very honest with yourself in regard it all around always have conversations with yourself question yourself am i mm-hmm. in the place that i want to be am i in the place where i want to be and be honest mm-hmm. with you. don't lie to yourself be real with yourself number one with yourself first yeah yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So that you make life easier for the person you're meant to be with. yeah this is what lorraine was saying yeah, mm-hmm. 
I heard yeah, your wife yeah, say, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. before she got married, she had a relationship. Mm -hmm. But that's important, you know, to get to know yourself. Because mm -hmm. uh, then I know there's a question you sent me during the week about single ladies, you know, and just take time to get to know yourself. Because I think yeah. sometimes as, as young women, pressure from society and sometimes pressure that you give yourself. You just yeah. want to get married, but you don't even know who you are. So yeah, once yeah. you've married, certain things about you, good and bad, are going to be brought to the surface. And it's not going to be fun if you're not willing to, you know, like you said, have a conversation with yourself. Because then yeah. why do you do these things, you know? Look how it makes him feel. Is it, you know, is it, is it something that I can change? Is it something? So there's, there's, there's work. A lot of me work. Yeah. Does. Is your partner going to be happy with this product that you've, you're bringing to him? And you know? The list, this is the kind of guy that I want. Okay, am mm -hmm. I the type of woman that would match that kind of a guy? You know? Exactly. Because it's it's a it's exactly. a puzzle. It's a there's two pieces. It, it needs to it needs to work. It needs to merge at the end of the day. Yeah. And marriage is not just dating, going out on dates. It's life. It's lifetime. It's life. You know? Lifetime of work because yeah. As we grow, we change, and it's it's yeah. constant learning of of yourself and constant learning of the other person. Yeah. yeah. There's no such thing as a perfect marriage. It's, it's it's you just figure it out as you go every day. As long as you're both willing, as long as you love each other, you're yeah. willing to change. You're willing to learn the other party as well. You just learn as you go. Yeah. And you ask God, God what you do, and He'll guide you as you go. Perfect. So, what do you think? Uh, on that note, thank you so much, guys. Thank, thank you, guys. Thank you so yeah. much. And well done, Melissa, for behaving. She's, She's asleep already. <laughs> before you go, what's your YouTube channel? Before we cut off, what's your YouTube channel? Nah. Mr. and Mrs. Smash. Yeah, yeah. Check them out, guys. They, the, their blog, their vlog is really, really amazing. It's really good. And you can tell that Ashley is a photographer because the gimmicks and the graphics and everything on there. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for having us, Daffy. We love what you're thank doing. Thank you. Man. Well uh, done. You are welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you, Taffy. Thank you, Bye bye. Okay. Take care. Bye bye. bye. So, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. It has been amazing uh, to meet other people, other couples. It's just